one day you are living your dream and the next day it's completely gone. What'd you say? He's doing really good. I was coming in to land like any other skydive and my parachute collapsed. I was in a coma for eight days. Once I was at the hospital and he was in surgery, I had concerns that he wasn't going to make it. They said it was some of the worst spinal cord shredding they had seen. One particular doctor told me point blank, Nick will never walk again. It's a scary feeling when you have doctors standing over you and you're looking down and they're touching and pot pushing and prodding with a needle, but you can't feel it. I told Lindsay, like, get the doctor in here. The thought came to mind, like, okay, maybe my legs are better off just getting amputated. They were completely paralyzed. No feeling, broken to bits. And knowing that, we just knew that was the decision to make. Nick has wanted to skydive again since the minute he was injured. There was never a time where I was gonna consider being in a chair. I knew with every fiber of my being that I was gonna get back on my feet and start walking again. You learn to do things just like a baby learns to do things. I really counted every step forward as a win. Having her around was, as far as I'm concerned, the only way that I would have got through this. Relationships are one of the most important things you'll ever have in life. If you've never skydived before, I can't explain it to you. It's a part of my life that I'm just not willing to give up. And it's a way of life for me. I mean, it's, it's a must have. It's breathing, it's love, it's freedom. It's everything that a person wants, yearns for in life. It's been hard, but that's, that's how we've done it, is together.